and welcome back to another Trap C tutorial. Today we're going to be going over a self-constructing building animation. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show an example of this. Let me hit play. Pillars come up, floors come up, and then the walls start creating. So it's very, very simple. I didn't finish the entire thing, but uh, you should get the point. All right. Now, for those of you who have been requesting this tutorial, I'm sure you, own, you have your own building models. So just bear with me really quick as I actually start from scratch. So I'm going to start with a box in my top viewport. I'm going to make it height-wise 50 feet. And I'm going to make it 2, two feet by 2 feet. Okay, that works for me. I'm bring it in. I'm actually going to go ahead and just set 17. I'm just making up numbers to be honest. 17 feet, 17 feet. Okay, I'm going to hold down shift, click OK, copy this. Paste it here with a negative sign. Hold down shift. Click OK. Paste over everything but the negative sign. Hold down shift. Click OK. Paste over everything. Okay, so I have four pillars for my building. I'm going to go ahead and go to my create panel and I'm going to use a box again. Draw out a box and a height. Uh, height, I'm going to make one foot. And the length and width settings, uh, let's do 17 feet by 17 feet. Actually, it's not 17, it's. What is it? It's. Um, 40. Let's do 40 feet by 40 feet. Move tool, set the x, y, and z to 0, 0, 0. Okay, and I probably could bring this down to match the pillars a little bit more effectively. So 36 feet looks like would be the best bet. 36 by 36. Okay, now I'm going to hold down shift to drag it up, probably about 12 feet. Most floors are around that range. There. And I'm going to make four copies. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and go to my layer manager, select all this information, and I this was not supposed to be here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Actually, I'm going to add everything back to this and now delete it. So this is what you normally get. All you need to do is make sure everything's selected. Hit this plus sign, and you can label this parts one or whatever. Take the check mark back down to default. That's what it means when everything's. This is what's going to be created. What layer is going? To, everything's going to be created on. All right. So I can really quick do the animation for this construction process. Turn on auto key. Go to frame, let's say, 20, set a keyframe, and technically my timeline should be 100. So I'm going to set the end timeline to where you guys would have. Alright, so frame 0. Also, there's one other thing that I've got activated, and that is my show selection range, and all you need to do is right-click on the timeline, configure, show selection range, and you'll get this little extra bar down here. And you'll see what that does here in a sec. Uh, so I'm going to go back to frame 0 and move all these things below the ground. And frame 20 is too long, so let's take it to frame 10. 10 is too quick. Maybe maybe frame 20 is good. Okay, frame 20 is good. Alright, so now I'm going to deselect the planes on the floors, I should say. And now offset the pillars, so... Deselect one, grab the keyframes, offset it by five. Deselect the next, offset it by five. 
sorry, five there. Deselect the next five. And deselect the, nope, that's it. So each one of these will come up on their own good time. Offset the pillars to start at frame 35. All right, so I'm going to all come in and then go a little bit above their stopping point. Grab the last key, or the 55 keyframe, hold down shift, drag it over, and then so they can go back to normal. Maybe space it out a little bit more, so they would pop up and come down. Now I'm going to drag, select all these keyframes. Go to my track view, expand this out. 